Yeah, if that one tool that's taken up 75%, if you could split that into two tools and cut down on cycle time, and then you only have a few second tool change, but then you just take 10% off your cycle time, well, that's improvement. Being able to get that information and help you make that decision and what, what datanomics helps us be more successful. Devin, my friend, I'm here at Paramount Machine today and I get to bring Paramount Machine to the world because you guys are famously known internally as really empowering the people that work here. It's very odd for me to walk through a machine shop, especially when I see so many high quality machines like the DMG Mori was standing in front of right now, to know that you're doing a lot of programming in front of the machine. It's not one or two programmers that do the whole shop. You try to educate everyone to empower themselves to become the best versions of themselves. And the segue we're getting to in this topic today is with datanomics and machine monitoring because industry-wide, we kind of look at each other and go, well, you know, my Monday morning was a rough morning, so I ran a, a warm-up cycle for an hour. And we don't want to go into the negative side of things, right? We want to go into the empowerment side of things, of what monitoring can do to help people figure out where those inefficiencies are to become the best versions of themselves, right? Correct, yeah. So one thing that we found with datanomics is that it gives us information on <clears throat> true cycle times, also tool cycle times, how long tools are actually running. It gives important information back to our programmers and our operators to improve on cycles. With that, allows them to think of better ways to take time off parts and be more creative. I got to improve on this, stuff like that. You know, in my younger days when I was a machinist, Devin, that was one of the most fun things for me to do was to figure out how I can reduce the cycle time. Is it in my feed rate? Is it my depth of cut? Is it my tool diameters? Whatever it might be. And the, what's great about datanomics is it's not just about the green light being on because yeah, I did trick a few companies and had a warm up cycle for about an hour on a Monday morning, something like that. But it really does give an opportunity to say, okay, if I have 10 tools or if I have 20 tools and one of those tools is taking up 75% of my time and 19 of those tools are the other 25%, I know where I need to focus to really get that cycle time down, right? For sure. Yeah, if that one tool that's taken up 75%, if you could split that into two tools and cut down on cycle time, and then you only have a few second tool change, but then you just take 10% off your cycle time, well, that's improvement. Being able to get that information and help you make that decision and what what datanomics helps us be more successful. Yeah, and, and knowing you guys, you went for a trial run on four machines, and as soon as that trial was over, you looked at Eric and you're like, we need to do this, and you jumped on 17 more. Now, I bring that up because that's a big jump from a trial to where you are today with 21 total with datanomics. So I have to ask you, Devin, how do we put a price point on something that's not actually making chips, but we know that it's making us money? Uh, that's a good question. <clears throat> I mean, for us, with uh, the machine monitoring softwares that we have used, we were just getting information. And then we would have to disseminate through that information <clears throat> and figure out, okay, where do we need to make the improvements? With Datanomics, it, it, puts us, it puts that information in front of us, plain and simple, and we can just look at it and say, okay, here, here, here. We don't have to hire somebody and, it, and then incur that cost to have them translate it for us. That's a valuable point. Now, the last thing, because I know you're into reshore and I know you have the technology here to do it. We've shared a couple of stories here today. I mean, that pallet chain system I'm looking at, the datanomic software above my head, the NZX we're looking at right behind us has given you guys the ability to do a lot of reshore at a cost effective price. And I know Steve wants the world and audience to know, especially here domestically, that you guys can do it. So with that being said, is there like a website or a phone number, a home address they can give you a call personally and to <laughs> let them know, hey, Paramount is here to help. There's a lot of US companies that would love to reshore because they're tired of the hassle of the lead times of seeing something across seas. They wanna be able to touch face to face with you, with the person that's making their product. There's a lot of complications that go on with it. And if they can do something cost effectively, accurately, and quickly here in the US, I guarantee you they'll want to do it. So how can they find out more about Paramount? We have a website, paramountmachine.com. <clears throat> go there and see our capabilities, uh, the history of the shop, stuff like that, so. I mean, that's perfect. And just to close this whole thing out with Devin, you can go to that website, but we're talking 
1995, started as almost like a hobby in the backyard of Steve's house. Now there's 70 employees, machines all over the place. The growth is fantastic. And we're talking since 1995, transitioning from, if I'm not wrong, Devin, we're on the third or fourth building now with growth as well. This is the fourth building, yep. Fourth building, and this guy has been over here almost since the very beginning, straight out of high school, right? Out of high school. This guy knows what he's talking about, Devin. Thank you so much for sharing this technology, this unique facility with myself and with the world. You're a good man. Thank you.